What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we have the arrival of Immortal Mos. And this is pretty awesome because now we actually can test some of the Seven Deadly Sins characters against this boss. I told all of you that King and Meliodas would be absolutely amazing against this, especially since Meliodas has that 30% PG rate in his core. That is massive, you know, having 50% PG rate with King's leadership. And King having the dot explosion amongst having 20% PG rate with his leadership is 40% PG rate. And just having this dot explosion is massive for Immortal Most because it actually is going to enable you to do more damage. The other thing about the first team is you want to be applying shock damage as well, which is why we have Lady Chang on the team. Now, whenever you do dot explosion, then you actually can stun Immortal Most. And the cool thing about this game mode is, or this Immortal Dungeon is, characters that have weak survivability, they actually have a lot more survivability because you have a form of CC against this boss, which is actually nice. So it's really important to have Dot Explosion on both of your teams. So on the first team, we got Xion for our Dot Explosion, and he has that 20% PG rate. The beautiful thing about the first team is they're always in the game. They're always in the game. And these characters are not built optimally at all. So we're using Xion, of course, for this leadership, but Xion has no PG rate in his core whatsoever, which does kind of hurt him a little bit. And he doesn't really cancel his skills very fast. So honestly, having a PG stone here would be better. Although you're going to see with the characters that I'm using, we just don't need it. I do have him at level, a level four capsules on him. And we are running the Akane set, no special option cards. And then Lady Chang here actually has that shock damage. And we're running the KS set for Lady Chang. Uh, the bad thing about her, she does have a 5 PG, but it's fine. But she has no PG rate in her core either. So this is a character that if you're trying to use just this first team and you didn't have maybe some of these other characters on the second team, maybe you would want to put a PG stone on her uh, because really she needs it in all honesty. She doesn't build up her PG very fast, but she does deal good damage. She does deal a lot of shock damage, and that's very important for Immortal Most because, again, it's going to enable you to do a lot more damage against this boss. And she's always available in the game. And she's super, super tanky. Especially after her reworks. Uh, getting the hyper armor, which is freaking awesome. That can be used while being attacked. And then she, of course, got the shock damage. Dropping lightning damage on him. Uh, pretty massive, my friends. Lady Chang really never got a whole lot of love ever since her rework. But she's actually turned out to be a very good character. And you do need a yellow defensive team for RHD. And then we got to use my boy, Iori. Now, you could put Iori in the leadership and just have a couple attack fighters behind him, but I really like having that PG rate, and Iori's nice because he does have the 3% PG rate. And this is one of those characters that doesn't have a lot of great survivability, but he has a lot of great damage. That's his thing. He is a damage-dealing monster. And in all honesty, because of his increased damage by 18% on a critical hit, because of his crit rate buffs on his... Second skill, I mean, he gets an increased critical damage by 60% here. He gets an increased attack by 20%, increased critical rate by 15% on his third skill. Actually running the Mad Tea Party set would actually be really good for him. But I'm just running the Akane set. This is a set that's always available in the game. And I am using that 3PG. Then we run into the second team. And this is pretty freaking awesome, especially after what you guys are going to see. So King here... Again, he has that 20% PG rate leadership. We've tested King with the KS set. It is the best for him, unless you're going to run the Merlin set. But I'm just running the KS set because this is always available in the game if you have King. We do have max capsules on him. He is at level 30. He does have three max imprint stones. And then we got Meliodas here, who I'm actually running the KS set as well. Notice there's no special option cards. There's no special card sets on any of these characters. We're just running his 3PG, and check this out. We're not even going to use imprint stones on him. I do have imprint stones for Meliodas, but we don't even need him. That's how confident I am in this team, or in these teams. And then, we, of course, we got BS Chrysalid. Now, BS Chrysalid is going to be the main damage dealer. This guy is an absolute monster. If you do get him to three stars, and right now this BS banner is going on, you will be able to get these stones if you are able to get three memories for BS Chrysalid. 
And these stones are insane. You know, decrease enemy defenses by 20% for four seconds by landing about center five active skill. And that's along with double attack. Then a second skill gives him double attack plus a decreased damage received by 30% for five seconds when attacked. And then the third skill is insane, or third stone. Double attack and then increase active skill damage by 10%, which is nuts. So that's a crazy, crazy stone. And then we are running this set. Since this is during the BS banner, I decided to go ahead and run with the set. But if you don't have this set, you can just run the Akane on them and it'd be more than enough. It would definitely get it done for the character. And Chrysalid really is insane. And I've actually opted to use the 5PG. Maybe some of you didn't get his 3PG and you're just going to, and you don't have this uh, City of Darkness set. You can just run the Akane set on Chrysalid. And just use this 5PG. And I really just want to show them using the 5PG because you really don't need a 3PG. The 3PG is nice, but it's a short animation. And since Chrysalid actually has 30% PG rate in his core, and he's going to get 20% from King, he's only actually going to have 50% PG rate. So building up a 5PG isn't really that difficult for him. So let's jump in here. Let's do this. And this is pretty nuts, guys. This is pretty freaking crazy. Honestly, the second team could probably do it on their own, but I really want to apply shock damage with the first team using Lady Chang. So I'm just going to run on manual, and as always, you know, I just try to run through all my character skills. And Xion really does have some slow animations. It's kind of the thing, you know, you can't really cancel his skills so quick, which is a bit of a pain. So right now, I'm just trying to build up Xion's 3 PG here, and you can see the PG rate is just terrible. It's actually abysmal, but Iori builds up his super fast because he actually has that 30% PG rate in his core. Let's go, let's go. And there we go, that's exactly what we want. Now we're going to switch to Lady Chang, and we're going to plow it on. And I'm trying to get to her 5 PG. And of course, he already does this first. And there we go. Yeah. I and mean, she's got a nice long 5 PG, right? This thing is long. Look at this thing. That really, really helps. Come on, here we go, here we go. Now this really isn't that good run. I actually did this earlier, and I ended up getting around 180 million. But that's fine, that's fine. The second team's definitely gonna carry us. We applied a lot of shock. Go back to King. Build up that 3PG, go to Meliodas. Chrysalid here. So now that I got King's 3PG built up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Chrysalid. And we're going to start plowing through his skills while King's doing his 3PG. Again, Chrysalid is our main damage dealer here. This is the guy we want to just plow it on. Plow as much damage as we can. And Chrysalid just, I mean, I can't say enough, man. This guy is insane. Here we're using our 5PG. And you know, I could do his 5PG and then switch to another character and spam another character's skills while we're doing Chrysalis 5PG. But I'm really not too worried about with this team because all these characters have insane PG rate, right? We're just going to build up that 3PG and then we're going to switch back to King here. Once we get that 3PG built up, we're going to switch to Chrysalid. 
Well, we'll just go ahead and wait. Now we'll switch to Chrysler. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. And look at that damage numbers, guys. Look at those damage numbers. Boom. Easy peasy. Multiple characters without imprint stones. This was so simple. And remember, yellow has the type advantage against the immortal most. So these guys are doing a lot more damage against this boss than what other characters can. And BS Chrysler just proves his worth. You don't even need his 3 PG. Absolutely insane. And the beautiful thing is if you do have King, say you don't have Meliodas, and you just have King, right? You still got that 20% PG rate, and you got the dot explosion. So you could easily put a different yellow character in there instead of Meliodas, like, uh, I mean, Terry. Terry actually has a 3 PG. You could actually use uh, Terry. So let me switch to yellow here. You could actually use uh, Terry. You could use Psyche. I mean, if you had Rudy, you could use Rudy if you wanted to. Kami. Again, remember, because of the dot explosion, characters that have weak survivability can actually put in a lot of work for you. Kami's actually got weak survivability, but with dot explosion and being able to stun the boss, you could actually use him. You could use Mion. I mean, there's all kinds of cho uh, choices. You could use Orochi Chris there because he actually has dot explosion. Very easy team to get the clear with it. You know, the first team is always in the game. And those of you that did pull those seven deadly sins characters and got lucky enough to get King and Meliodas, you're absolutely loving it for this. And even if you don't have Chrysalid, you could easily switch out Chrysalid for uh, one of the other yellow characters and play with them. So once again, the seven deadly sins characters proved to be very useful and very strong. And BS Chrysalid once again shows his insane power. So let me know how you're all doing in the game. Let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 times, Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.